Hello and welcome everybody to another Mature TV video. As you guys can see, today is the first day of Capcom Cup X and it's it's just started like less than three hours ago. I'm watching all the matches and stuff. However, however, we got some news guys. We got some buffs and some nerfs. It seems that there is a balance patch coming out with the Ed build of the game. There are people right now who are playing in the venue, in the, you know, boots of like, you know, uh, Street Fighter 6 with the Ed build uh, right there at Capcom Cup X right now. And they are actually like, you know, playing Ed, they're trying Ed and they've tried some other characters and they have shared their uh, findings online. So without further ado, let's go to Twitter to check those out. So right out of the gate, we got this guy, Luke. I don't know if his name is Luke or is just a Luke player, uh, but his ad is Nonches, I think that's how you pronounce it. And he's there at Captain Cup X and he's playing the Ed build and he shared this video of Jamie. That's like the first character that we're gonna go through. He just shared one thing about Jamie is that now he can cancel forward throw into drink. So this is very huge for Jamie because now, of course, like Jamie uh, at drink number zero, he's like, you know, he's, he's, he's a weak character, right? But the more he gets drinks, even at number, even at drink one or drink two, he becomes a good, a good character. At least you could say like drink two, he becomes like a good character, right? So this will definitely help Jamie, you know, get some more um, drinks, you know, while he's like playing in neutral or something. But you can see that there is like a trade-off where he loses uh, his turn afterwards, like if he does the forward throw and he drinks, he loses his 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 pressure afterwards. Like he just like you know um, uh, stays very far away from from the from the opponent. So this is not gonna work um, in 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 the corner. I believe in corner. I would say that you would probably want to go for like a like a throw loop or like a, a some some sort of like pressure afterwards. But in neutral, this will definitely help. Uh, Jamie's you know plan or game plan to just make things um, more scary because now if Jamie just grabs you twice and he just goes for this then now he's in level 2 right or even if level 1 he gets a dive kick and, and he's now a problem so definitely a good uh, uh, buff for Jamie uh, however the big 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 thing is JP we have got a video over here you guys can watch this JP right now first of all Let's just, you know, let's just watch this video from the beginning. What did you guys notice? What did you guys notice? First of all, uh, the the uh, OD Amnesia is still, it still works versus grabs. You can see that, you know, J Jamie over here tried to grab him, but he still got hit with the with the OD amnesia. So that question is out of the uh, out of the way. Uh, OD amnesia still works uh, versus grabs. However, however, you guys can see the damage that is done from this move is now significantly you know scaled down. It is much lesser than how it was before. You know, a combo like this would have definitely killed. And you know, I'm not really sure if that super is gonna kill or not, but if, if, if it was the, the current build of the game, you would say that this is definitely death. But now, you can see that the damage is much less. We're even like, you know, we're, we're confused. We don't know if it's gonna kill or not. So, definitely a big hit for JP in terms of um, OD Amnesia's damage and scaling. You can see at the Capcom Cup Ed setup, there are some balance, balance, uh, balance changes in this patch. Amnesia has heavy scaling. Ken throw loops are gone! right so this is like the next thing that we're gonna talk about but not not yet let's just stick with jp for a bit uh we're gonna talk about something else about jp he also posted uh another video of jp uh losing um to grab but it's not an immediate grab this is this is the one you guys can see over here that jp went for an od amnesia okay but he got grabbed like less than a second afterwards right so this was not the case in the previous in the current build in the current build if if jp uh uh just like you know wakes up or does ex or does uh, od amnesia and you see it and decide to grab him immediately he's he, he will still get the od amnesia right he'll still get the animation he'll still get the hit and all of that 
but now it seems like the active frames have been you know reduced drastically uh, before that you know he would be active for a while before you can actually do anything to actually punish him but now it seems like you know um, like like the active frames are much lesser um, you know there are benefits to this I'm not really sure if this is like exclusive to grabs uh, is, is grab gonna beat him like a, a like you know a few frames afterwards or even buttons if buttons also do the exact same thing I which I which I assume that buttons should do the exact same thing like they should punish him you know after just a few frames uh, much faster than before if that's the case then that you know opens up new possibilities of ways uh, on how to like pressure uh, you know uh, JP because you know maybe like you know delaying a button delaying a button you know, on, on JP's wake up would actually be like the uh, as you as an offender as somebody who's on in the offense you delay a button on JP's wake up that should be like the the new uh, way to deal with JP because if he wakes up with with OD amnesia um, it's it's gonna punish counter him it's not gonna work because the active frames are much lesser if he wakes up with grab you know uh, instant grab uh, or, or, or like a delayed tech throw sorry uh, the delayed button is gonna beat him you know so that that might be the the go-to uh, way to pressure JP from now on we know we're still not 100% sure but this is from what I'm seeing this could be like what uh, uh, the new way to deal with JP is so definitely a big change, definitely, you know, uh, uh, something to keep in mind when playing versus JP. Of course, you guys can see like he's he's posting like a lot of videos about um, uh, Ed and uh, uh, the Ed moveset and uh, how plus or minus it is and what are the punishes for like the, uh, uh, the special moves and all that. But uh, that's not what we're going to discuss today. We're going to discuss this uh, something later, later on if we are. Uh, however, we're just like focused on the changes, the balance changes. You guys can see over here that Ken has lost his throw loop. This is something that's also very huge, something that's very big. You know, um, like Ken normally, like, you know, he excels in the corner. Ken's whole, you know, plan is for uh, for him to just take you to the corner, which he can do with, like, you know, Tatsu, which has amazing, you know, corner carry. And then he just goes on the... Uh, uh, the throw loop, you know, uh, blender, like he just grabs you over and over and over again. So this this nerf right here, it actually hurts Ken a lot because now he can't we can't really do um, he can't really do like the throw loop. First thing first, he he he's like you know he's like very far away. Like after he gra after he grabs you, he's like very far away. Look at this, like he's like you know he's not uh, not right in front of your face. And then once once he tries to grab you again, you can just wake up with a crouching light punch or a standing light punch, a four framer, and it will beat him. Um, so you, can, you guys can see over here that uh, he says can throw loop doesn't seem like the second throw beats wake up four frame, but not 100% sure. Um, actually, we have got uh, Chris Tatarian. He actually confirmed this also. As you guys know, Chris Tatarian is one of the best uh, camp players in the world, and he has confirmed this as he is there and he's playing. Uh, he says, "He says I played the newest Ed demo, and Ken's throw loop has been nerfed. Ken is now plus one off of forward dash from throw. Ken still has run tatsu, corner carry tatsu, and all that." Uh, loop still has throw, uh, throw loops, which is a horrible thing. <laughs> I know it's it's uh, it's a very bizarre you know thing to keep. Why would loop still have throw loops if you're gonna take it off of Ken? Um, but anyways, maybe an early build, but that's the only thing that has been nerfed from Ken. So he just confirmed that that's the only change that is coming uh, to Ken in the next uh, patch uh, with uh, the, the Ed drop. So you guys can see that in the video here, he's trying to like, you know, go for a grab, but uh, when the opponent, you know, wakes up with a button, it doesn't work, right? You guys can see that if they time it correctly, the, uh, the, the light punch is going to beat the grab. So yeah, that's, that's definitely a big hit for Ken. Um, and if Luke is not changed, if Luke's, you know, um, you know, um, throw loop is not changed still there then that makes him number one basically right now like uh, like undeniably like he is he is considered by a lot right now as number one but um but uh, after these changes i think that look is definitely gonna be your number one as you guys can see like, I'm, I'm i'm fishing for those real changes but you know uh i still did not get any kind of response uh, from from the guys um it's still they're still posting videos and details 
you know as we speak as i'm recording this they're still posting those stuff but everything that i'm saying right now is basically like you know um add details and and whatnot um, not balance changes to the other uh characters to the main characters of the game actually before we go any further this just came in luke's crouching medium punch which is which is luke's best tool in everywhere in neutral pressure everything just got nerfed look at this he's been able to punish it on reaction with a light kick look at this he's punished it with a full reaction like he's not is not pressing you know the uh light kick on preemptively he's doing it on reaction look at this look at this that is good that is definitely good that is definitely definitely very very good this is one of the best things that we could actually expect from this balance patch is to have Luke's crouching medium punch you know get nerfed because that button is just absolutely insane it's plus one on block it has amazing range and it's drive cancelable and everything like you know you can't really with punch it but now it seems like you know uh, there is some kind of there is like some kind of like you know uh, increase in the recovery frames uh, that enables you to uh, uh, whiff punish this uh, quite well even for with like a light kick that's still good enough because at the end you can like you know uh, light kick the drive rush you can light kick special move light uh, you know with a, with a tatsu or something like that and get a proper punish this is like very 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 good there's also another change that just came in. Uh, it is definitely important. Look at the amount of the meter gain from you know uh, the, from just parrying the jab. Like like he's just holding parry and he's not doing perfect parry. Look at the amount of meter gain, the drive meter gain uh, from just parrying uh, those jabs. And he also confirms that this is not just for for jabs. This is not. This is also for parrying all normals. Confirm that now all normals build one full bar on parry. Specials are unchanged. This is also like a big change uh, for how the game will be played because now you're incentivized to parry, even if it's a regular parry, to parry normals more often, right? When people are, 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 uh, are like, you know, pressuring you or something like that, you can just parry it and gain meter faster. Of course, that, that gives the uh, um, the question like we you know are, is there gonna be like a threat of a grab are they gonna walk up grab are they gonna you know uh, just hold parry because th th now this actually like puts like a new uh, dimension to the game or to the offensive you know uh, uh, play style or defensive game plan because now people are gonna hold parry more and to way to counter that is that you're gonna stop your pressure and gonna go and grab them and attempt something like this. So it's gonna be like a, a new, you know, uh, game or mini game in between, you know, uh, uh, like a mini game in terms of like the pressure, uh, whether they are gonna hold a parry and gain a lot of meter. Or you, you don't want that to happen. Of course, you want to put them in burnout, so you're just gonna walk up and grab them. So that can be, you know, uh, another mini game in the. Uh, pressure side of things for Street Fighter 6 in the next balance patch. Uh, there is one more change actually about uh, DJ. Actually it is not a change, it's just a confirmation that you know uh, sway low or low sway it is still safe on block. Uh, as you guys see, as you guys can see from the video it is it's a sad uh, sad news for everybody because we know that this move is very 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 strong. It is arguably the best tool that DJ has and it just makes uh, playing against him very difficult. So this is like still safe on block. So uh, DJ sway, uh, DJ low sway still safe, sad reacts only. So yeah, that's that's another thing that we got confirmation for. Um, what the guys are saying is that this is like not the full balance patch that, that Capcom is planning once per year. They're saying that this is like, you know, uh, uh, um, a midlife, uh, you know, balance patch, something that is, you know, just to fix the state of the game right now before the big the, the big balance patch you know later on uh of course none of this is confirmed 100 percent like they, these are confirmed because they, they are playing it right now but you know the fact that this is not the full balance patch is not 100 percent confirmed uh this is just their speculation and that's what i think also i think that this is uh, this is how it is going to be like it's not going to be uh this is not going to be the full thing this is just going to be to fix the fact that jp is broken and uh ken is insane uh pressure ken has some insane pressure in the corner but i'm surprised that there are no uh, loop changes i'm surprised that luke still has his uh, throw loop um but it's too early to say 
this is just like you know um, uh, a quick review of what uh, what is going on right now as, I, as as you guys I'm telling you like this is like you know just a few hours a couple of hours uh, this was posted like a couple of hours ago so we still don't have like the full details but for sure we are gonna get the full details soon so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like comment down below what do you guys think about these changes do you think that you know Luke should still keep his throw loop or it should be removed uh, are you you know happy about the JP and Ken nerfs and uh, maybe you're Jamie main you're happy about the uh, the buff let me know guys down in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one take care bye bye